Hello. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. I'm here. You're here. Beauty is here. Grace is here. Light is here. Joy is here. Ease is here. Peace is here. Possibility is here. Light is here. Healing is here. Love is here. You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. Here you are. Here you are. Here I am. We're not stuck in the middle anywhere, but we're together. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, it's me, Robin. This is Morning Magic. It's me, Robin, and you're you. Let me say hi to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Miss Tari, first one here. Hi, TJ, good morning. Amy, beautiful to see you, hello. Amanda, beautiful to see you, hello. Miss Melanie, how you doing? Hi. Miss Amy, you're here. Obscura girl, the Amys. The three goddesses of Amy are here. So, Obscura girl, Amy, hey. Miss Leisha, Miss Leisha. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, friends. Hi, Maxine. Hi, hi. Hi, Miss Caitlin. Hi, Amy. Church. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Jeffrey. Good morning. Hello, Stuart. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Anna. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning and happy anniversary. Hi, Jesse. Good morning. Thank you so much. We're celebrating today. 20 years married. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. That feels so good. Hello, hello, thank you, thank you, hello, 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 okay, we're here, my friends, we're here, I'm putting our title in, I say we call ourselves the Magnificent Morning Magic Mighty Companions, I love in the Course of Miracles it talks about Mighty Companions, that's us. We're practicing together. We're sharing together. Thank you so much, friends. So um, let's have a cheers. <laughs> Jeff took me to the most amazing coffee place in all the land. Yes, McDonald's. Because I'm so special, you know. And he loves me so much. And that's the truth. I'm not being sarcastic. That he wants to do special little things and you know it's not about <laughs> we were supposed to be on a cruise to the Baltic in the Baltic Sea somewhere in the Netherlands starting out and meeting our friends that we've met uh, online around the world we had plans on our stops and here we are so we spent the morning at uh, McDonald's in the parking lot and um, you know what it's the same. It's beautiful. Only thinking makes it so. You know what I'm saying? The story we tell. So how blessed am I? I, I feel so blessed that I get, to, and then I thought I get to come and be with you. It's like, how good can I stand it? Mm, good. Yeah. So cheers. Cheers to our mutual beauty and light and our choice to wake up, our choice to practice, our choice to let things go that you know the rest of the world 
maybe wouldn't agree with. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not the rest, but you know, like how special. So cheers, cheers. Hi, Kim. Hi, beautiful. Hi, Mary. Hi, beautiful. Cheers. And I must say, number one even made a pot of coffee for me and still took me out for coffee. It was so sweet. And <laughs> it's just so interesting when you learn to let it be, when you learn to let it be special and you're like sitting in the parking lot at McDonald's outside on a beautiful day and they have all these pine trees planted and you know we're sitting in the parking space looking at each other so together you know what I mean what it's so good but funny thing the lady who parked in the parking space 20 we posted a picture standing on 20 they have numbered spaces um, I don't know what but she backed out and got into a car accident <laughs> so we were on 15 we only went there for the photo op it's kind of interesting she backed right into somebody so I don't know but there you go so that's that with that friends um, did you hug yourself today did you get up and remember a practice for yourself you know the thing about this practice this thing we do this journey we're on is every single day we could be practicing no matter what the story is even if there's a pandemic going on even if there are riots and burning things you know and all the stuff that happens in the world and all the stuff that happens in your inner world all the people we can still get up and choose yeah and that's the practice I love that Jeff said, we are the morning magicians. That's why we're making the choice to be in our space of saying, I'm alive. You're alive. We have choices. We can practice. It doesn't all have to be shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you choose to go so small and get so small with all your stuff, that's your experience. But we can also be open. Don't you love that? I love that. So did you hug yourself today? And I haven't asked you for a few days. Did you pick a word of the day today? I want to know. Hi, Jana. Did you pick a word of the day today? You know, I when I think about um, my word of the day, and I think about this day and all the things, I think about a miracle. And so I'm going to go with miracle. And even like I wanted, I brought some show and tell today. This is a sunflower that my, the first one that budded and the squirrels ripped the head off, you know, and that's, you watch something grow for like two months and it gets so tall and then the squirrel comes and rips the head off. Easy to do, but it's continuing to open, to bloom. I don't think it'll open, but look at that. It's still going just in its little water in the sunshine. That's beautiful. So, yeah. So, friends, um, yeah, let me know what your word is. And today, it's Thursday. Anything goes. You got something you'd like to talk about today? You'd like some support from me or our amazing crew, <laughs> our morning magicians, or you'd like to call something in for some healing? Let's do this, okay? I want to hear your words. Purpose for Jana. That's good. Purpose. As in, you are on purpose too, honey, meant to be. Safe, Kim, safe. Yeah, that's beautiful. You are safe. I'm safe. How does that change the energy for us when we try these words on? I'm safe. I want to say all is well right after that too. I'm safe. I'm held all is well. Why is my hair wet? Oh, the flower. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just live here. Um, <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Yay, Kelly's here. 
Hi, um, Alicia says, my word is buzzing. Ooh, buzzing, 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 buzzing. Amy's word is, Amy Basin's word is gratitude. That's beautiful. Kelly's vibe is let it go. Yeah, that's so good. You know, friends, that's so good. It's so important. Some days it's choice to decide what we're going to hold and what we're not going to hold. And Amy, obscure girl, says, watering, that's my word, stepping away from trainings and watering myself. Amen, my sister. Okay, yes, as a teacher, and you know, when I call you teacher, I'm really talking about your journey and the way you help all of us. That's what I mean. You, it's necessary to water yourself. Amen. I'm the daily. Our needs matter. I'm putting on the air. Just like that. Our needs matter. We matter. And coming to that point where you realize, hey, you know, I don't know if this is Amy's jam or not, but, you know, for me, sometimes it's like I'm giving out too much and I need to be receiving for myself. And other times I realize I'm receiving in too much and I need to give out so it's fun to watch that balance and just think in a way like no big deal just I'm gonna adjust just like in the car you know sometimes you have to downshift no big deal but what a great knowing Mary's word is chill that's beautiful mmm chill yes did you send me the top yet Mary the striped one yeah. Mm hmm. Anna, my word is savor. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And your your word is renewal. T serp. Tell me your name again. T serp. I hate this feeling. Like I know who you are, but because it says T serp, I don't know. If you want, but beautiful renewal. How about that? I love that word as well. Savor. Yeah. Hi, Allie. Glad you're here. Got your blanket right on the couch today. Word of the day, trust. Right, Christina. Okay, thank you. I try to remember. Thank you, Christina. Word of the day is trust. That's beautiful. So, friends... What can we do together today? Huh? Amanda says, my word is ride. That's beautiful. Ride, ride, I love that. Good morning, good evening, Shizu camera. How's your day going? I hope it's beautiful. My Beppin son, beautiful soul. Hi. Amy says, ease and flow. My words every day for a while until I'm in the practice of choosing that more regularly. And, you know, may we say what a beautiful thing it is that you are practicing that. You know, friends, and I'm not just talking to Amy Church here, okay? <laughs> I'm not. I'm talking to all of us. It, it could be that your life could be overwhelming in so many ways. There's so many of you that I, I hang with here and you got things going on. And it's, it's unreasonable of us to expect the things going on to stop. But don't you think that's kind of how we start? We're like, I gotta, I gotta organize this and I gotta figure out that and I gotta teach my kids to stop peeing on the ceiling and uh, you know, all these things we get worked up about in a day, but um, it never stops. It never stops. And so the, the, the real journey is to choose the ease and the flow inside the chaos. I hope I'm making sense. Ease and flow inside the chaos. Become one with the dust bunnies. Become one with the the stress become one with the you know what I mean just like okay with it and when I say become one with it I don't mean to go there and be upset but just everything 
is all right in its, in its way. And if we choose to hold objections, you know, pull them in and upsets and pull them in, we can still help ourselves by asking, what's under this? What's the purpose of me doing this? What is the function of this part of me that chooses? You know, that chooses this because look at this glorious day, you know? Look at this beautiful day. Even when we were sitting at McDonald's in the parking lot, we were in parking space 15 because like I said, 20 was full. So the lady backs out of 20 and she backs right into a family in a van having their happy meals or whatever. <laughs> so cute, lots of little kids. And um, the lady got out who hit the family and she said, oh my God, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I loved that. And the woman in the car was like, it's okay. Please don't worry. You know, just, wow. It could be like that, even if there's damage. You know, there was a little schmutz on the van. I don't know if it was just transfer or what, you know, but it could just be like that. We don't need to carry the upset all day and bring it around with us and continue to bring it. But if we do and we want that to change, because you're no nobody's bad. Nobody's doing it bad if they're like that. But if we want to wake up, then we can gently ask, why do I do that? Why? What's the purpose of that? Right? So, Melanie says, so thank you, Amy. I'm glad you're practicing. That's beautiful. Dedicated. I love that about you. Um, Melanie says, connected. I am, I am. You know, I love that word so much and I feel, I don't know, do you feel it since you chose that and have been staying with that? I even feel more connected with you. It's, it's amazing. Sorry, you guys. They say it's gross to do all these things in the camera, but you know, I'm just here like a real person. And if my hair is sticking to me because I have a hot flash, I hope you forgive me. Yeah, it's just me just the real me you know <laughs> yeah so I feel more connection together with you too I love that we're connected Allie's word is love that's beautiful don't you feel it too Allie like you're blossoming into more of yourself and more love beautiful so she's you had a beautiful day and your son decided to learn Aikido with an American teacher? Awesome! That's so great! I love that. Do you know, since I was just saying that our wedding was supposed to, our, um, our anniversary is today, 20 years married, we were supposed to go to Japan for our honeymoon, three weeks in Japan. I love Japan, I have never been there. But I, I must maybe have a past life, many of Japanese life. And even when I was in healing school, I went to Barbara Brennan Healing School. Um, the second and the third year, my sm they put you in a small class. I was in the Japanese class. I was the only one not Japanese besides the teacher. So I did um, all my healing practices with the most amazing women who didn't speak English and we used a translator and it was amazing and life-changing and so when Jeff and I got married we wanted to go to Japan and guidance we already booked the trip you know how intuitive guidance comes that was the year you guys had the massive flood I remember the Toyota factory flooding I remember it was worse than Katrina for in the States. I remember this and we were on our other, we had already canceled the trip to Japan and we were on a different journey and we were watching the news one night and we saw what was happening and in Japan. 
That was one of the first times I realized how powerful guidance is and how ordinary it is. How ordinary. Like, there was no ghost that opened the door and came out and said, Jeff and Robin, don't take your honeymoon to Japan. There's going to be a flood. Like, nothing like that. You know, it was just very ordinary. But we got the hit. Like, we need to cancel the trip. So, it's interesting. But one day... I'm coming to Japan, then we can have some tea together. Lovely. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, give him kale. Hi, Paula. Amy says, I'm finally setting into the truth that the things that cause the overwhelm are part of the thing I love. Amen. Right there is take your gold stars and your award and everybody Let's connect these dots. The, the things that cause me overwhelm are part of the thing I love. It's part of being a mama. And I'm finally getting it that it doesn't have to be bad. You know, um, and I figure that out too. Like, people say to me, how do you do morning magic every day? Isn't that overwhelming? Is it? No, because it's what I love to do. It's part of the thing I love. And so any story of overwhelm, it's just an opportunity to grow. It's just a reminder, that song, the Trevor Hall song, it's in our Morning Magic playlist. My love, it's just a reminder, find your center. I need to find a rubber band. One second. Sorry. Okay, every now and then, just gotta do it, friends. Um. <laughs> my love, it's just a reminder, find your center. So the things we love to do, they can be tied to overwhelm. And don't forget, our ego will usurp these things. It's not really even us, is it? Is it? Is it really your essential self? I mean, with Amy, oh, that's so much better. All right, thank you. With Amy, you know, you wanted to be a mom. So you probably have moments where you're like, oh my God, I wanted this, I chose this. I talk to moms sometimes and they're like, I feel so bad because I'm so overwhelmed, but I wanted this. And somewhere in that I hear, it's my fault. I, It's my fault, now I have to be happy with it. You asked for it, you got it, you know? But no, that's another ego trick. It not it, it's really like, don't I look so cute now? Yes. Um, <laughs> it's really just like, how can I learn to receive more joy here? How can I learn to be in my ease and remember myself? And, you know, we friends come into our lives. A lot of you came into my life to help me learn about balance and remind me, like, it's okay. It's okay. If you love what to do this and you want to be here every day, you know, the real friends are the ones who don't say, take two weeks off, go on vacation. What's that really going to do in the scheme of things? It's like, let's help each other show up. And like obscure girl Amy said earlier, also remember to water ourselves. Water ourselves. All these things are for our learning. We can choose ease. That's right, my girl. Amy says, the vibe in the house is changing so much. That's what is the miracle. You know, sometimes people will say to me, oh, my husband this and my husband that and whatever, you know, um, this person or that, they're not changing. They're never going to get it. They're not going to be, you know, hang in there. Keep showing up as yourself. Keep practicing these things. Everybody will be impacted because we're really energy beings in each other's fields of light. We're really in each other's fields of light. Do you get that? So, you know, um, this is something that I work on a lot with, even as the Black Lives Matter movement came and I really started examining my own prejudice and where is that and what's going on for me and not just there, you know, like even with people who are younger than me, do I 
Do I have assumptions about them? Do I have assumptions about people who are older than me? Sometimes, because I'm 51 now, people say things to me that feel hurtful, you know? Even like yesterday, number one kiddo said, you guys aren't that old. You're not that old or something. And it was like, wow, that was meant to be a compliment, but it hurt my feelings. Why? We can just sit with all of this. But the point is, I'm going somewhere with this, that, you know, what's really amazing is that we're all energy beings and we can receive each other that way energetically. So we can drop the, this is different, they're different, I'm different, they're not as, they're not practicing the way I'm practicing, they're not awake like me. Is that making sense? Um, and, and receive their energy signature and send them, send them love and you know, if you ever meet people and you're like, ah, oh, wow, I feel total disconnect, it's like this. Sometimes I watch cooking shows from around the world, somebody making amazing things who lives in a jungle with their family. And you're like, we are the same. And it doesn't feel that way at all, but they have an energy signature we can receive. So. My point is we all impact one another in beautiful ways. And it begins by letting go of the opposition, the resistance, the story, the upset, you know, like that's the blocker, that's the wall. And if we say, oh yeah, that's not a wall. We are the magicians, right? We just walk right through it. We can be with each other's energy and the vibe in your house will change. The vibe in your neighborhood will change. Our neighborhood has changed so much in this pandemic, and I can tell you we have a part in that. Jeff and I play a huge part in that. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, I don't know if any of that made sense, or I just sound cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but hi, Meredith. Melanie, me too, Japan. Wow, that's so cool. Isn't that amazing? Of course, but of course, right? Melanie and I, like the most obscure things you could imagine, we have in common. Like, it's uncanny. And you find that on the journey. You meet people on your, your kindreds and you know it. And then there's all these things. I have got to get a towel, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wilson. Does anybody remember that? Hold on, I got it. Oh my God, I'm still here. Hi, it's me. All right. <laughs> you never know what's gonna do it. I mean, I kind of know, but you never know. My ch Kim says, my children are some of my greatest teachers. Yes. It's good to see it that way, you know, even though um, <laughs> they're teaching us stuff. Also, like, could I let go of my expectations? I have so many expectations. Sometimes I'm surprised when we all get together. There's, there's parts in me that are always expecting certain things a certain way. And um, if I really sit with that in myself, I'm like, yeah, I'm the common denominator. I have this issue in other places, not just with my kids. I don't know if you guys think like that, but oh yeah, this is my deal. This is my jam. I have something here and other people may bring something to that party, but I got a big piece of that pie to work on. Kelly says, total sense. I am making it an intention to pay attention to when I'm out walking. I smile when I notice things I love. Amen. And, you know, you all, you, you may not know this, but you bring so much light with you. Even doing nothing, even on days when you think, I'm telling you, are you listening to me? Even on days where you think it's all you know what, and I'm, you know what you say about yourself sometimes. No, mm -mm. there's a light about you. It's so beautiful. 
I can just see your name and feel it right now. The four names on my screen right here. I feel you. And your goodness is never in question. Your beauty, your light is never in question. You know, some of us suffer because we're not doing more for our light and our joy and our delight. Going back to Amy, Obscura Girl, as you were saying, we're not watering ourselves or we're not showing up and shining. I, one thing I'm learning about me, this is we're going into our sixth month of daily morning magic, is that this is, if I had been doing this all along, it would have been great because this has helped me in so many ways and I have changed so much. I, I, we even looked at some pictures of ourselves from the beginning of the pandemic. I swear, even my my face has changed. You know, it's, it's interesting. So yes, you get the hit to start shining your light or just seeing people on the street and blessing them. Um, this is very big in the Course in Miracles and Paul Selig's work, Paul Selig and the guides, to affirm people, to see them as the light, the light of God, the light of Christ, whatever you like, the light of love, you know, to, to remember everybody has Buddha nature, right? Yeah. Amanda says, me too on Japan. I took Japanese culture courses in college and the Japanese poet Ryokan is basically my teacher. Wow, I learned all these beautiful things and I could see that about you. Kelly says, I keep discovering little pockets in the village with sweet signs and rainbow flags, all supporting and this little place needs more of that, amen. And so we keep doing, you know. It's the wildest thing to consider this time in our history and how we look back on history and there's so much we don't know. We might remember one date, you know. One date, some, some event, and we know the date. But that's it. And here we are living this time where there are so many things. It just keeps... It's blooming, you know? Some people would choose to say it's exploding or it keeps getting, but we're blooming, we're opening and more and more shifting. And ah, the conversations are about this stuff now, you know? It's amazing. Yeah. Woohoo! It's amazing. So how about we do a little healing today? I guess this was just kind of a jibber jabber day, but you know, I hope these nuggets feel helpful and that you'll go out into your day and you'll practice. You know, that one person who normally is hard to bear or they hurt your feelings or they say something or they don't pick up their socks on the floor or they just, you know, they do the thing they do. How can you practice there? How can you practice? You know, go through that. Am I hearing things or am I? I don't know. Um, <laughs> go through that wall. Go through that wall that's between you two and receive their energy and send some energy. Sometimes, oh, Kim, that's the best. I just love gathering with you all in the mornings. Me too. I'm so glad, you know, I'm so glad to know that. And I'm so glad to know, like, I would be here no matter what, because it's powerful for me as well. That's going to say, sometimes you get somebody who's really difficult um, for you personally, they're challenging or you're upset. I, you know, have this as well. Sometimes right while I'm sitting with them, energetically, I will be telling them these things. You know how you can pray sometimes? You can also sit with the person and say, I want to help you. I want to be of service to you. Or I want to connect more deeply with you. And there's these things that are in the way. You know, I mean, you can just be honest with your energy and figure it out. I don't feel respected. I don't feel seen. I want you to see me. 
So you realize I need to see you. I need to respect you, right? Wow, wow. So special healing. And for all of you on the replay, special healing. never far from the heart so you know this is a healing of just softening the resistance just softening you could try taking a breath in right now and really letting it go really letting it breathe see how far down you can breathe in your body some of us are only really here some of us are here, but let's see if we can come down a little more. Jeff says, there are always nuggets here and good reminders and just sitting with the love posse. Yeah. We get together at night, Jeff and I, and we talk about things and we often talk about morning magic and how it's going and he reflects some of the most beautiful things that it's it really is an amazing family you know we are a circle of community and even if you're not here every day I know you feel it you know what if we knew it was meant to be what if we knew it was on purpose and we were living the lives we were always meant to be in that was my newsletter this week, by the way. Yeah, just, whoa. Breathing deep is so helpful. You know, um, sorry. The, um, I studied holotropic breath work for a number of years in my healing when I was really like studying and, you know, picking up skills. I don't know why I had to say it like that, but there was a time where I didn't know I was just amazing on my own. Like I didn't have to get more credentials and more studies, you know? But I loved that breath work. And a lot of us don't know how much our own birth stuff impacts our breathing still today. It is wild. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to know your story, but just breathe deep. Like the Moody Blues said, breathe deep. Breathe deep. See if you can go down. If you look at your lungs, really, don't take them out and look at them. Just like look at a picture of lungs. They go far down. Yeah, far, far, far. So, may you be blessed today. <laughs> and so much love. You are loved. You are cherished and you matter. Jesse, something I struggle with constantly, thinking I need to learn more before I can help others. Amen, my sister. Maybe we said that for you today and for many people who won't speak up about that. Hold that in our hearts today because what I know about you is You're amazing. You're good to go. And the love is real. And that's all you need. And sometimes I ask myself, what's underneath my, I'm not good enough. I'm not, I'm not saying you said that, you know, but like what's underneath all that story? Some of us feel like I don't have enough of a platform. You know, I have a very small platform, whatever that's called, you know, but you guys are all, we're tight. And what does that even mean? You need to have this before you can be ready is really a story about something completely different. So if we can sit with that, we can free that, and then we can walk with friends who have common with us. And it's like the Course in Miracles says, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. When the teacher is ready, the students appear. And in the te manual for teachers, it says here, every single one of us is a teacher who feels called to be on this journey, I'm saying, you know? And for every single one of us, there are so many people who are already looking for us. They've already known, they've already been, they've already signed up to walk together with us. So 
to me, that's like, that's all I need to know. That could be your kids, you know? Yeah. As we're more present with ourselves, you know, this feeling of if it's imposter syndrome or whatever it is, it will ease. We have to be so loving to ourselves, treat our own wobbles like the most tender baby. We don't hold enough, you know? So, you guys are amazing. That's the bottom line. And I love you. I hope that's not weird if I tell you that, but I love you and proud of you. <laughs> Amy, that's so great. Yeah, and we have friends here with much, much bigger platforms, huge platforms. And you hear from them and it helps, but you know, we need to hear from more people who talk about it. Because it's just that, that the grass is always greener, the other side is so much more better, and I'm not enough, and you know, I don't know. When you really come down to it, for me, I realize this is my personality. I talked about this some on the podcast this week, 104. I was a little embarrassed at how I said it, but the more I thought about it, it's like, that is the truth, though. I am... This is how I'm flourishing in this way. And I was never meant to be, it's not my type or my style to be somebody with big, 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 I couldn't handle it. And I don't need to, it's, it would be overwhelming in a way because I'm about deep connection, you know? And if I couldn't, yeah. So sometimes you realize that too, like this is who I am. This is the life I'm in. This is what I'm meant to be doing for now. And you can say for now, but the striving and the worrying, and how could I ever say it's not enough, you know, when I think about you? You know what I mean? Come on. It's about savoring things. Whose word was savor today? Anna. It's about savoring the connections we have and the love. So, I love you. I hope this was helpful today. And if it was, I welcome your support. There's a link in the profile. Or, you know, share it on. Share this work on. Share the light you gain. Help somebody else. That's really what I'm saying. And I'll see you in the morning. You're so welcome, my friend. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks, Christina. Kelly. <laughs> yeah, not Oprah. <laughs> Amen, Kelly. You're you. You're amazing. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Gabum Kale. Thanks, Shizu. Woo woo. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Shelly. Kelly, the best. I like that. Hearts and stars forever. Thanks, Miss Leisha. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Jana. Yeah, you too. Love, total. Love you, my people of the posse of love. Love you too, morning magicians. I will see you here next time, okay? Thanks, Tari. Loved your email this week. Planting your seeds, you know. You have to wait for fall. It's coming gonna plant them so much love to you you guys are amazing keep being amazing today know it in your heart okay thank you now yes God bless my friend God bless my friend bless my friend amen see you in the morning bye